First, the good news, it's bonus season. Now the bad news, fewer than one in four American workers is expecting to get a bonus this year, according to a new bank rate survey. And here's where it gets even trickier. If you do get that bonus this year, it might actually be a bad thing. Here to explain is Market Watch reporter Katie Hill. Hi, Katie. Great to see you. you. So first off, we hear that so few workers are expecting bonuses, but how many employers are actually planning on giving them? More than half. So this is actually good news. You might get a bonus. You might not expect it. You might get a little extra at the end of the year. So that's actually good news, 54%. So more employers are planning on giving them than yes. employees realize. So what's wrong with that? Here's the thing. So rather than giving us pay salary increases, reg, you know, they give us bonuses. So that means every year you got to work for that bonus. You know, you don't get a nice, you know, nice little pay bump each year would be nice, but instead they get bonuses. So the bonus is coming instead of salary increases. Right. What what do the salary increases look like this year? Very small. So they're mm -hmm. usually below 3%. So this used to be, by the way, we used to get much bigger pay hikes and now we get much smaller ones. So that's what's happening. We get very small raises and instead they try to make up for it with a bonus. But usually that's only going to high performing workers. So if you're somewhere in the middle or in the low end, not Is so this good. a temporary change, do you think? No. Oh, no. The, every expert I talked to said this is not a temporary change. This is how companies are going to operate because they don't want to have to just keep, you know, raising salary significantly. That that is a very costly for them. So they figure, well, well, we'll reward the people that perform the best and not the other ones. So it's variable income. So are they putting aside a higher percentage of payroll to variable income than Th to salary raises? That's right. So it's about 13% now going to variable income. By the way, that's up from about 7%, I think, of 10, 15 years ago. So it's a pretty big jump. But sal And then the salary you know, the, the, um, increases are just so small Tiny. now. Yeah. And, and who stands to gain from this? I mean, if you're a high-performing employee, A-plus for you. If you're in the middle, you're struggling, not so great for you. And yeah, this is probably going to be the way it is in the future. And so for most employees, if you get a bonus this year, <laughs> don't celebrate too much. Yeah. Right? Don't spend yeah. that. Don't yeah. spend that bonus on a celebratory yeah, Christmas don't, dinner. Don't take too much vacation because you might not get it <laughs> right. next year. Right. All right, KDL. Oh, good. So good to know. Thanks so much.